Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and we have a couple things we need to talk about today. The first thing I want to talk about is this little handbook, developer's handbook that is in the forums. And this is actually freaking amazing, and this is one of the reasons that I think a lot of us, including myself, really love this game. So the first developer's handbook. So we're going to be getting more of these things. Hello contenders, this is KOF All-Star Dev Team. We sure you're asking about the difference between the dev notes and the handbook. Yeah, what are the difference between the dev notes and the handbook? Well, the developer's handbook is a place we can communicate with contenders a little more often than the traditional dev notes, which I think is absolutely fantastic. The more communication, the better. Uh, there's some other games, uh, Marvel Future Fight, that really should take some notes from this dev team and maybe try to implement the same kind of procedures. Uh, communicating with your player base is a good idea. It instills goodwill and people are pretty happy about it and we love it. And again, it's one of the reasons that I love this game because of the dev team. We prepare this to listen to your voices and deliver things faster. We hope that through this, we were able to answer your questions and concern and resolve it as fast as we can. And I can definitely believe this. For the most part, throughout the entire year that the game's been in global, the devs really have been pretty much on the mark for most everything, not all, but most everything in the game. And, you know, their track record is actually very good. And I'm just proud to be a part of the game. First, we'll share about the improvement of the battle card level up UI. We were supposed to share this UI improvement with you along with the battle card develop level up method update. However, the release has been delayed. We heard your feedback and we're preparing it in a way that allows you to improve the battle cards as fast as strengthening your fighters, which is great. The improved UI will be applied in the upcoming update. Okay, cool. So we're going to have some changes to the battle cards. So we hope you look forward to it. We do. We do. In addition, the development team is currently struggling to reduce the playtime burnout that contenders may experience by while playing a game. And yeah, we have, uh, there's a lot, a lot of grinding in this game. And, I, you know, the grinding don't need to be completely removed. But certain game modes, like immortal bosses, like once you're able to get a certain score, or you just get a score, and then you just auto-clear with the same score over and over afterwards. Uh, same with the spider robot. These things would really help a lot of us because honestly man you I mean there's a lot asked of kof players because of all the grinding honestly it's pretty extensive as the newly provided content is in line with the existing development we are aware of the increased amount of time spent playing the game thus we're thinking of ways to reduce the playtime burnout of our contenders as soon as this specific direction is arranged we will deliver it through the developer handbook for the meantime, we appreciate your patience. So this is absolutely fantastic. They're actually going to try to work on, uh, well, our grinding methods. They're going to try to eliminate some of it so we can just pretty much get through the game a little bit faster so that players don't get burnt out. Because when you play a game, you know, three hours a day, uh, you can get burnt out doing that. Uh, you know, I, I don't because I love playing the game. But when it comes to grinding, yeah, I mean, I've, made videos about this before where I just think that it's just too much and they really need to have some auto clears in it big time. Lastly, the news about the release of the new collaboration event, which we're going to talk about in a second, as the previous collaboration was enjoyable and unexpected, the King of Fighters All-Star will be having another collaboration. What kind of collab will, the, will come this time? Please look forward to it. And, you know, that's it for the first developer's uh, handbook they're going to you know rest assured they're going to talk to us more which is terrific communication is amazing for these guys to do with us thank you so much and we'll tell you more in our developer's handbook as soon as the future development direction is set so we hope you continue to give us lots of insights and feedback that can help us to improve the game and this is fantastic two dislikes 25 likes uh 20 goods this is pretty much the opposite of another game that i play that's currently being boycotted and in all honesty, guys, I think we should all just take a step back and be thankful for this dev team, for communicating with us on a regular basis, for talking to us and not ignoring us for literally years. That's right, years. 
uh, you know, the game that I'm currently boycotting, Marvel Future Fight, they have ignored us for years. A lot of you KOFers do play Marvel Future Fight, and I just got to throw in those jabs in there at that dev team and really showcase and, and talk about why this game is doing so good because of this dev team. Now, I'm not going to get into reading all this. Now, let's talk about the new collaboration. So in the KOF All-Star Facebook page, we see this here. Here comes the new challengers. And looky, looky, looky. Now, who could these characters be? Well, luckily, there was a player by the name of Zenin Kusanagi who actually let us know who these characters are. And I want to give a big shout out to Zenin Kusanagi. Thank you so much for doing this research and putting in this work to figure this out. But let's talk about these characters. So the first character here, her name is Rachel. And you can see clear as day that this image aligns with this image. You can see it clear as day. And this character is actually from a game called Seven Nights, which is actually another net marble game. Uh, honestly, I've heard of Seven Nights, but I never played it. I believe it's a churn-based game. It's not the kind of game that I uh, really would get into, but it's got 10 million downloads. Evidently, a lot of people do like it, so that's pretty awesome. And of course, Net Marble, you know, they're introducing these characters in this game to try to spread the word about the Seven Nights. That's what these collabs are all about, especially within the company itself. You know, they put King of Fighter uh, characters in the Grand Cross game, and that's exactly why they do that. They tried to spread the word of KOF and Grand Cross, try to get some Grand Cross players to want to play uh, King of Fighters, and they're trying to get do this right now with Seven Nights. They're trying to get KOF players to maybe, you know, try to play maybe uh, Seven Nights. The thing about this that is good and maybe bad for some people, but I think it's good, is that because this is going to be one of Netmarble's babies from their own a corporation that they're probably going to be OP. They're probably going to be damn strong. You can bet they're going to have three PG cards. And I do have to say, I think Rachel looks amazing. This is waifu material. She looks amazing. Uh, the next character I want to talk about is, this is Rudy. And again, you can see clear as day that this aligns with what we're seeing here. And Rudy looks freaking cool. You know, an angel knight, if you will. Uh, he looks freaking fantastic. I don't know anything about these characters i don't know what their role is in the game i don't know what they do i don't know their power sets but you can imagine they're probably going to be pretty freaking amazing i'm betting they're going to be quality characters i mean he looks freaking dope this dude looks freaking dope this is a cool looking uh character and then we have and this is probably my personal favorite and that is shane and you see here you know the hair right here right you can see this little bit of hair and you can see it here as well it's the same character she looks freaking amazing lord have mercy major waifu material and she just looks like a real freaking bad mofo woman if you know what i mean she looks awesome freaking love this character model i am looking completely forward to this i'm really hoping that all these characters are going to be strong because well, we all know they will be strong. We all know they're going to be strong because it's they're going to be Net Marvel's babies. And some people are, you know, they're, they're going to prefer other collabs. By the way, just to give you all a little something, I'm not going to put it up on the video, but in this game, in the Seven Nights game, they actually have a Street Fighter collab in the game. So that means it's very possible that one day in the future, Street Fighter could come to KOF. If Netmarble already has it in one of their games already, which is Seven Nights, they it very well could come in KOS. So that's something else to think about, and that's something else to get excited about when you know that these characters are actually coming in the game. You know, Now that we're aware of these characters, or even aware of this game, some of us never played it, never knew about it, and then when you open up the game and look into it, you actually see, dude, you do see a Street Fighter collab within the game. That's freaking amazing. And then the last character here... And her name is Eileen, I believe. Man, and you can see, look at this. You see this little uh, slash here, right? That's actually part of her clothing here. But she looks freaking awesome too. Freaking amazing looking uh, characters. Amazing looking artwork. I'm loving them. And I think they fit right into the KOF world. You know, these are fighting characters. 
They do use weapons, but we already have characters in the game that do use weapons, like Xion, an original KOF fighter. So I'm, you know, she looks like a dragon princess or something. She looks freaking amazing. So I'm really excited for these characters. I think they all look freaking amazing. And the thing that I like the most about it is, you know, I I know for myself and I know for a lot of you out there, we really want Street Fighter to come in this game. A lot of us are big time fighting game fans like Tekken, uh, Killer Instinct, KOF, and so on and so on, right? And we want to see those kind of collabs come in this game uh, because a lot of us that were fans of these franchises are fans of all these other franchises that are fighting games like Immortal Kombat and so on and so on. So I, to know that there's a Street Fighter collab in the Seven Nights game, a Netmarble game, gives me hope that we could get Street Fighter as well. But as far as the characters, I'm pretty excited. I think they look freaking fantastic. I uh, can't wait to see what they're going to do in the game. I'm going to be looking at their colors. I'm going to be looking at what types they are. I'm going to see what kind of effects they got, whether they got explosion, what game modes they could be useful in. Uh, because, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, they've made, you know, John Cena a top tier character. That was a collab in PvP. They made, you know, Gentoki a top tier character in PvE. Uh, from a collab and the rock PVE and so on and so on, right? Haramaru, I mean, Genjiro, all these characters, uh, the Tekken characters have all been relevant in the game. Even the Tekken characters are still relevant in the game. And they're over a year old in this game. So you know these new characters are going to be OP as hell. Uh, we're probably going to have some new fests because that looks like the new trend. Uh, so I'm I'm really excited about it, man. I am freaking stoked about this. I can't wait to uh, see what kind of effects they have, uh, see how strong they're going to be. So let me know how you're all feeling about the handbook that we saw. I think that's freaking amazing, and I really think Marvel Future Fight could take some notes from that, and maybe some other games as well. And also let me know what you think about these new fighters, and are you excited for them? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.